And today my guest is Mr. James Stewart of Radar. All right. James, thanks a lot for being here, taking the time to do a Facebook Live for our students. No problem, because a lot of drummers have a tendency to leave the beaters on the head. And with triggers or with electric kick drums like these, it doesn't really matter that much. But on an acoustic kick drum, you're going to choke your sound. And that's not something you want to do unless it's totally intentional. Mm -hmm. um, so this will give you a kind of a warmer, open sound, and it will sound really good on, on microphones. And so the so when we're doing really slow tempos, it's just the same in each foot. And so when I'm doing doing kind of blasty stuff at, at slightly higher tempos. Still basically the same motion. E and going up to this sort of 160 to 180 problem tempo that seems mm -hmm, to yeah. be <laughs> seems to be annoying everyone. Uh, is, you know. The ankles are coming into play a little bit more. It is not exactly the molar motion, but it's it's somewhere in between. It's an in-between tempo, so it's an in-between motion, yeah. basically. And then as we get faster into sort of my total comfort zone, the thrash zone, the ankle starts taking over much more, and then we get to the higher tempos. Yeah, and that'll be the swivel starts coming into to effect a bit more, but that's that's more of a timekeeping device than a mm -hmm. uh, than a, um, than something that I'm not using the swivel to generate too much pedal motion. Because if I swivel on my own, the pedal's not doing much, not even not really even hitting the, hit the yeah. hitting the kick drum. So it's the swiv the swivel. Uh, just helps me a little bit, but it's mostly ankle. I'm still doing a downward ankle motion. Mm -hmm. And the swivel just, I don't know, it helps me stay loose a little bit and it helps me uh, know where I am in the beat. Perfect technique would be keeping your core really stable and just sort of moving with it. Yeah. And so you don't really want to be moving too much with your back you want to just sort of do and uh like that that's like yeah. kind of thomas Pridgen and eric moore and mm -hmm. a lot of the gospel guys switching really fast between this and between yeah. this side and this side and um yeah i think that's mostly because of keep, they know where their core is where their center is and just keep it keep mm -hmm. the back movement minimal yeah, yeah. Um, but when you're playing live, you can get overly into it. So there is potential there for totally messing up your back. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yes. thankfully, no, I haven't. No. Okay. Let me kind of finish this one off with some double bass, swivel, oh, really, drumming, and some blast beats, and <sighs> then we are out. <laughs> that was me thinking I wasn't going to have to do anything. Do it. All right.